Hello and welcome to Alpha Nova stand in Sea Gray in 2018. This year we have decided to show you some of our newer devices. From ESA we have a CBA 3000 which is a circuit breaker analyzer which has a special ability to do three-phase micro ohmmeter generation. So in that case you don't have to change the connections with one connection. If your circuit breaker is grounded on both sides you can measure the time and the resistance of your circuit breaker's main contacts. The circuit breaker analyzer we have here is a CBA 3000. As you know we also have CBA 1000 and 2000 but this one will do your job the quickest and also in the safest way possible. Moving on from CBA 3000 we have as you probably all know a DRTS 64. It has been our best seller for many many years. The RTS 64 is a secondary relay test set with six currents and four voltages. We also have the version with three currents and three, three currents and four, and six currents and six voltages. So with this device you can control it using the computer or using the PC, the TDMS uh, software package which is complementary, and also you can control it using the local control. Now, since ESA and TEPCIM have merged in Altanova, some new products have been developed. One of them is the online monitoring system, the global monitoring system, which you can see here, EDS. And with this device, we have already made some very big projects in Q8. So we have been monitoring one GIS and many parameters of that GIS. With this, you can monitor PD, you can also monitor circuit breaker parameters like opening and closing time, form of the current on the coil, feed of current, etc. But also the parameters of the motor or the battery which is used to power that motor. Of course, SF6 is another parameter which can be monitored and the client decides for himself what will be monitored with a system like this. So global monitoring system which can be used basically on any asset. Moving on. The TechIM's bestseller, Aquila or the Eagle, we have here. This is an acquisition unit for PD. So basically, by connecting the sensors here, you can test any asset. This device can be used to test, for example, cables, but also generators and motors, video voltage switch gear, GIS, transformers, and any other asset that can come to your mind. The device itself is very easy to carry around. When you close it, basically you can carry it easily like a carry-on luggage on an airplane because it doesn't have more than 10 kilos. And what's also very important, the batteries it uses, they can be put in a way that the device cannot be turned on under any condition. The device also can come with a tablet which will be placed here. This one right now does not have it. And this is the place where you can put some of your basic cables, BNC cables, Ethernet cables, or whatever. The device communicates with your computer using a Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or a Bluetooth. And that way you can connect and easily execute the measurement, gather results, and then analyze them in your office. Apart from acquisition units for spot testing, which is Aquila, the latest product coming from Techin is the Falcon. The Falcon is a device for medium voltage monitoring. It uses one PD input. For example, in this case, we decided it would be an HFCT. Also, please take a look at the new Techin HFCT sensor. And we have also one input for synchronization, two inputs for communication with Ethernet, and this device which is a low-cost device, can be used to test, for example, medium voltage cables or medium voltage motors or, let's say, switch gear or something in that range. Coming back to the new Tekim uh, sensor, this is the new Tekim HFCT sensor with the highest with the highest sensitivity until now, up to 25 millivolts per milliamp, and also a fantastic frequency characteristic so this is something you will be buying hopefully in the future this the next 
device, which I want to show you, is used for transformer monitoring. If you want to do not just the monitoring of the PD of the transformer, but also the monitoring of tan delta, then you will use a device like this. Now, in order to use that device, you will need a sensor for a transformer, and this is one example of a transformer sensor. This is kind of a tap adapter, and you put this at the bottom of your bushing, and then you take a signal from here, you pass it to here, and then you measure PD and also tan delta. So this would be, as we said, the sensor for the transformer. And I'm going to show you a few more sensors. Apart from the transformer sensor, we have a GIS antenna up to 3 gigahertz, which is used, as the word says, for a GIS. You can see the special form because this, this needs to be put on uh, the spacer between the two segments of GIS. Apart from our UHF antenna, we also have the TV sensor used on medium voltage switch gear. These are two magnets which you need to place and have an air gap in between, so on the doors or between maybe two cubicles. And you also have the sensor inside here in order to sense the PD which you're trying to measure. Last but not least, we have sensors, capacitive couplers for rotary machines, 24, 75, 12 and 7.2 kilovolts. This is the latest product coming from Tekim R&D. Very useful and very good to install on medium voltage motors or maybe even some smaller generators. So, this was all from Paris in 2018. I hope to see you in two years. Thank you.